Hi, it's Kit with SVJader. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and animate a group of masks. In this case, a dragonfly is used as a mask for the floral pattern, as you can see in this animation. So, here is the project I've prepared for this tutorial. I'm going to show you the elements list first. I have this first group, Dragonfly, consisting in other subfolders to help me keep things more organized, head, body, and so on. All the elements are white because I don't really need them to have any color if I'm going to use them as masks. Let's open the body folder here. Here's the body of my dragonfly and wing 1, wing 2 for the right side. And again, wing 1 and wing 2 for the left side. Let's close those groups for now. The next group, it's the floral pattern that will be masked. Let's make it visible. And I already have it animated to save us both a little bit of time. I use just a few simple rotation animations for some of the flowers here. I'm going to hide the pattern for now. And next, I have this background details group above a dark background rectangle that will be the last element of this animation. You might be wondering why the pattern group name is underlined here. That's because there is a clip path group. The floral pattern is placed into a rectangular clip. This here is the group containing all the details of the pattern and the arrow symbol indicating up shows us that it's being clipped by the clipping path group above it. The clipping group contains the rectangle that was converted to a clip path, this one here, named BG, that stands for background. The clip can be readjusted or animated as well, as you'd animate any other element. I'll leave it as it is. I'm going to undo this scale, close these groups. So, this is my project so far, and I'm going to set the dragonfly as a mask for the pattern. The element that will become a mask must be on top of the one that will be masked. With both selected, right-click, then choose Create Mask. There, the dragonfly group became a mask for the floral pattern. This action placed the group Pattern underneath a new group named Masks, which is also inside a main group named Mask Group, which of course you can rename as you wish. The masks groups will keep all the elements of the dragonfly as they were without merging them into a single path. This will allow you to animate each element individually while also masking the group I chose to be masked. Like this. I can move this wing around and see the mask group through it. I'll undo this move now. And I want to make the background details group visible again. I will now animate the wings. And I'll start with these two on the right. To save some time again, I will delete the other two wings from the left side and duplicate the ones from the right after I'm done animating them. There. I'll start with wing one. Unlike a simple clipping path, masks have the advantage of controlling the transparency of the masked element. The color white will make the masked element 100% clear, while black will make it transparent. I will use a linear gradient between black and white to demonstrate this. I will now adjust the angle. I want to make it almost vertical here. And as you can see, the black side of the gradient will make the masked floral pattern transparent. You can see the dark background through it, while the white one keeps it 100% visible. So this is how you obtain a opacity gradient using a mask. I'm going to do the next thing for wing 2 now. It will kind of create the illusion that the first wing is on top of the second one. Or at least it doesn't make it look that flat. I think it's more interesting using these opacity gradients. There. It's time to animate the wings. And I'll go with a rotate animation. Click on rotate. I'm dragging the playhead to the first tenth of a second. And rotate the wing counterclockwise, like this. I will now duplicate the first keyframe with the initial angle at the third tenth of a second. Use Ctrl D to do that, or Command D if you're using a Mac. I have to duplicate the rotation keyframes along the timeline, but I'll fast forward through all of that, because I'm going to do the same thing for the other wing as well. There. This is how the animation of the wing looks. I'd also like to add an easing effect to them. I already have these three custom ones ready. And I'll go with this one. A little adjustment. Good. 
Now I need two more wings for the dragonfly on its left side. So I'll group the wings I've just animated, select both, right click, and group. First, I need to place the origin point here in the middle of the body so it will flip in the right place. Right click on the group and duplicate. I'm going to rename the groups here real quick just to keep things organized. Wings left. Okay, now I'll use this option here to flip it. There. And also rename this group Wings Right. And as you can see, the wings were copied, keeping the animation I've made. Now I'll set the animation to run on an infinite loop. Go to Preview Settings. And I'll choose my animation to start on click. And I can also choose what happens on the second click. It can pause, restart, play in reverse, or simply continue. I'll go with pause on the second click. I'd also like my SVG to have a fixed size. Okay. Now let's preview it. I have to click on it to start. Okay, so this is the movement of the wings. And there's one more thing left that I'd like to do. I want to animate the position of the dragonfly to make it look like it's flying across the scene. For that, I'll need to add the position animator to the dragonfly group. Drag it out of the canvas to set its starting point. Drag the playhead to the end of the animation. Then move the dragonfly all the way across the canvas. And I also want to bend its path a little. There. The dragonfly should orient along the path. For that, I'll enable this option here, Auto Rotate. It just needs a little more adjustment. I'll rotate it just like this. Um, I need to drag it a little more out of the canvas. There. Let's drag the playhead to preview it. Seems to be fine. Let's also click on Preview and click to start. And we have the dragonfly flying across the stage while it's masking the floral pattern group that also has a few animated elements. I can also click again to pause the animation and then click it again to resume it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you found it entertaining and helpful. Thanks for watching.